Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, April 24th, and we are going to be doing another vlog today. Uh, once again, it is my day off, and it's raining. As you can clearly tell by the puddle behind my head, it has been raining. It has not stopped raining. Actually, it's been thundering and lightning since like about 5 this morning, which is what woke my ass up on my day off early. So I have so much to do today, you guys. You don't understand. I need to go to Ulta. I need to go to Tord and redeem my hot cash. I need to go to Bath and Body Works. I have coupons. I need to go to Back to Mac. I have a whole bunch of stuff so I can turn that crap in. I need to go to the bank. I need to eat. Got to maintain my girlish figure. And just overall, oh, I got to go to Hobby Lobby. It's just a lot of overall running around. So you're going to be doing that with me. I'm actually on my way to go pick up Sarah. Hey, girl, hey. Uh, she's been in my other vlogs before. She's another YouTuber. Make sure you go check her out. That's so Sarah. You guys, it is so gloomy. It never fucking fails on my day off. It's rainy and overcast and ugly. Do you see this? There's no sun. I live in Texas. What is happening? Uh, because it's so ugly, I just threw my hair up into a bun. It's just wet. I threw my glasses on. Yes, I am blind. I am nor I'm nor-sighted. I'm nearsighted. So I'm actually supposed to be wearing glasses. I just choose not to. I threw on a dark lip and just a cute little black top and some skinny jeans and flats. I like to call this my mommy outfit because it is just simple and cute. Just out the door, get your business done, be done with it. So you're going to follow me around today. Hope you like it and just keep watching. So we're at the mall, we're at Ingram Park Mall, and I'm with, hey girl, hey, eating our weenies. Well, actually, she's eating weenies. And we got our raspberry mixers, mm -hmm. and I got myself my pepperoni pretzel thing. And then, because Jesse is spoiled, I stopped at Hot Topic and I got him his pop, pop culture, whatever. Anyways, he has like a shit ton of these at work, and he puts them on his desk, so. That's his favorite character, and it's someone he doesn't have. We're just getting our pre-workout food because today is going to be a marathon. We gotta cram as much as I need to get done in the next three or four hours, including eating a real meal. So after this, we're gonna hit up, uh, what's up here, Torrid first, redeem some hot cash, we'll do some inside the dressing room vlogging, and then we'll jump to Charlotte Russe after that, and just gonna go spend some money today. We're here. I'm finally going to get my first pair of Tori jeans. Oh my god. Oh, I see something. Oh, look at this dress though. You know, honestly, I don't know what I need. I just came to spend hot cash because I don't want to lose it, you know? Free money is free money. Baby Jesus. Oh my god, look at those shorts. They're like, they look super short. Jesse would never let me wear them. Look at that with the lace trim. Tord is stepping up their game. Hmm. I do like that skirt though. I tried that skirt on last time. It's like a long maxi skirt, but what the fuck would I wear it with? Okay, so this is what I picked up so far. I found this beautiful kimono that I feel like it is going to go with me no matter what. I just feel like it's going to be too long. I'm going to try on the bib overall shorts. This pretty like high-low chiffon top. This white... Well, it's like cream colored baby doll top. Some boyfriend jeans with a lot of distressing. And this really pretty like Aztec print tribal dress. So, super excited. And then there's me. Hi. Oh my god. 
I freaking love this kimono. It's beautiful. It hits me right, mm, like a couple inches above the ankle. Oh my God. Look at the color. It's super thin and sheer. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. It's almost like a netting material. It's really super sheer. <gasps> oh my God. I freaking love this. So fucking cute. Mm. I love the print. I just don't know how I'm feeling. I think I could have sized down more because it's like really loose up in the bust. I got a three. But I love the print. Super cute. You see what I'm saying? It's like, hello. Super loose. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. This is a baby doll. I don't know if I like this. Baby dolls are just not flattering on me. They just make me look bigger than I am. I like this portion. I like how this looks, but baby dolls are just never that flattering on me. They just, I don't know. I'm gonna probably go with no. Okay, so here's a high-low top. I freaking love it. The color's beautiful, it fits nice. I grabbed a size three. It's a high-low. Super cute. Love floral. Love floral. Looks super cute, I love it. Definitely a thumbs up. Love it. I don't know. There's like no easy way to weigh this. I mean, the idea is cute. But look at this. Can't figure out what's going on. These are too short in the crotch. <sighs> the idea is cute, but not for me. No. Look at that. What's that? No. <sighs> Boo. Okay, so these are the boyfriend jeans. I don't think I like them at all. I like the distressing, I like the rips and tears, but look, they're like bell bottoms. They do nothing for me. They do absolutely nothing for me. <sighs> Damn. Oh, did I? Yeah. I forgot to grab it yesterday. <laughs> focus, damn it. You won't focus. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. I need one of everything. Everything. Okay, you will see me in the fitting room next. Okay, so, hmm. Wear Charlotte Russe. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things to try on, and two of them are at 50% off. So, wish me luck. This is supposed to be a dress, but it fits me way too big up here. And then it fits decent on the body. But it's like way too big up here. And that's a 3X. Hold on, I'm not dressed. Come in here then, come in mind. Where's the dress? This is a dress, but it's too short. 
Yes, my jeans are on. I love the coloring. It's beautiful. But it's too short. And it's too big up here again. Son of a bitch. No, no, no. No. I kind of like it. I don't know yet. This is the front. And then this is the back. Oh my god, I love this kimono. It's 50% off. I'd get it for like 14 bucks. It's got that awesome pop of neon coral. Super sheer, very flattering, a size 2X, freaking love it. Not with this top though. Looking hot mess, but I love it. So cute. I love this kimono. Kimonos, hashtag kimonos. All right, so guess where we're at? Oh, does says Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. All new packaging. I really do love their new packaging. I wish this thing would focus. There you go. I really love their packaging. So Sarah's picking out her fragrance so her kuka could smell nice. Oh my what? You heard me. My kuka. <laughs> Which one's that one? Did you say kuka? Yes, I did. And this is passion struck, but I just sprayed that one. You did? I like that one. Ooh, but not on my face, homie. I am a hardcore fan of Love Spell. Mm, I love Cash. I like Cash. I am 31 years old and I pretty much still wear Love Spell. If you didn't know already, they got rid of the shower gels at Victoria's Secret. So basically, all you can get now is the body spray, the lotion, the roller ball, and that's about it. <coughs> so we'll let you know what we're gonna get here in a little bit. Oh, I love the coloring though. Ah. Guess where I'm at now. Isn't that display like beautiful? I freaking wish I could keep that display for like my videos. I saw a new scent called Georgia Peach. Oh yes, that one over here. <laughs> I was like, I saw the little kid up in the front, but it smells so good. Right there. <gasps> we have the body mask. We've got the cream the scrub. And, and the, the body scrub. The and front. do they have any promo on, on these or no? I three get three free right now. Okay. So you can mix and match. You can do any of the fragrances that we have on the front table and any of the ones in the wall. Okay. Yeah. Three for three. Three and three. Okay. Do you want to try a little bit on? No, I love it. I can okay. already smell it. I bought all the inserts for the wall and everything. That's really good. Thank you. What is this? Oh my god. If you didn't know, I love anything and everything peach. No, I think we're good. I'm gonna stock up. You see it? What? The birdcage? What is it, like 40 bucks? Is it 40? It's like 40? Yeah. Did you see the one for the wall? Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can go broke as a joke in this store. And then look at all this shit. You ready? <laughs> Necessary. So we are at Cheddar's freaking favorite restaurant ever. It's freaking loud in here, so I'm just gonna film for a little bit. But there's Hey Girl Hey, you can't see her. Oh well. Remember when we were on the live event last night and we talked about Monte Cristo, and I didn't, t I didn't know exactly what was in it. So it's smoked turkey, smoked ham, two cheeses, battered and then fried. With it's a sandwich? Preserves. Yes, a sandwich. It's literally a sandwich deep fried, like with a batter deep fried. The Monte Cristo? Yes. Are you gonna get that? No. Oh. My heart starts hurting after I eat it. I can't. But we got chips and queso with beef. Ground beef. <laughs> beef. Beef. Okay, we'll be back. Alright, 
So this chick got Monte Cristo sandwich. I've never heard of this. It's ham, two cheeses. There's a ham, there's a turkey, white cheese, and a cheddar, and then it's fried. It's battered and fried, and then it's raspberry preserve. Holy shit. And then our chips and queso that is destroyed. And then I got steak and shrimp with the most badass broccoli cheese casserole that there is. Oh my god, I'm ready to throw down. The struggle's real. The struggle's real. <laughs> We've ate so much food, but it was so good and so cheap. Would you believe that for all of our drinks, the appetizer, I got a fucking, oh, and I ordered a side salad, steak and shrimp, steak and shrimp plate, and then her Monte Carlo, Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo sandwich was for 38 bucks, tax, everything. And then our waiter was really, really super nice. So shout out to James in San Antonio, James Texas. B. James B. <laughs> He's like, James B. I was like, okay. So now we're on our way. We got a little bit of time before we got to drop her off. I need to go to Hobby Lobby, like I said earlier. I did my back to Mac, like I showed earlier, but I forgot to show you what I got. I got cream cup. It's just like a go-to favorite, cult favorite. So I got that. So we're gonna head to Hobby Lobby right now, but you need to see this traffic. It's already getting ridiculous. Muggy outside. And it's muggy as hell. Humid there next time. and in. gross. Where? Walking. All the walk-in. I like it. Then. She likes the walk-in. <laughs> she wants to walk into the walk-in. <laughs> so that's where we're gonna go next. So we'll see you soon. All right, so y'all can tell that I'm home already. I just want to go through everything that I got, just in case you're curious and see what I picked up. Um, we'll go ahead and start out with Victoria's Secret. For Victoria's Secret, just easy. I picked up a mini perfume. They were selling these at the register for 10 bucks. They had three different scents. I picked up the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. It's just a small little atomizer with a little spray. And then I picked up two love spell body sprays in the new packaging i absolutely love this i like i've said before i'm a die hard love spell fan i there's i wear this on a daily so i bought two of them one is a backup and one for my car because i use this every time i can go tanning uh when i get out of work before i go into work just to get myself a little spritz so they were having the what is it four for 40 so i picked out two sarah picked out two and then I got the atomizer. And then we went to Bath and Body Works and they had a new scent out. Uh, two new scents. Well, no, four of them, but I could care less about the other two. I fell in love. If you don't know by now, I'm obsessed with peach anything. Peach flavored, peach scent, peach anything. Peach color. I mean, you name it. I love it. So I picked up two of the four new scents. And one is Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. And the other one is Strawberry and Vanilla and Bourbon. Different. But from the peach collection, I picked up two of the shower gels. One I gave to Sarah, one's for me. I picked up a bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla shower gel. From the peach collection, I also picked up a shea body cream. This is for me and Jesse. We both like to have really smooth skin. We're very, very big on our skin. And then we also love, anytime a new one of these comes out, we pick them up. The bourbon and strawberry vanilla body scrub. We love body scrubs. And Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. I love body scrubs because as you guys know I tan. So this really helps with tanning. We're very, very big advocates of exfoliating in this house. So we exfoliate like on the daily. And so you wouldn't think to look at him. But he absolutely loves these fruity smells in the shower. He's always reaching for them. So we go through them fairly, fairly quickly. So whenever I see new ones, I just snatch them up. Because I know that it's money well spent. We will use them up. So that's as far as the stuff that we got for the body care. Those were buy three, get three free. And like I said, they're really, really good. I didn't smell the other two cents. So you're going to have to go check them out for yourself. But I could care less. I'm all peach. I'm a peach. Moving on for home care. I ended up picking up three, no, four. Four more wallflowers. I like the generic white ones because everything in my house is basically white and I want them to blend into the wall. So I just picked up four more of those and then because I'm on the peach kick, I picked up eight more of the Georgia peach and right now they're doing the promo where all of the wallflower refills are $3.50. So I picked up eight of these suckers and I kid you not, this sucker smells strong as hell. The candle alone smelled good. And then I also have two hand washes. One is farm stand apple, and one is vineyard wild bears. Couldn't find George Peach, but vineyard wild bears and farm stand apple. And then from Mac, are you guys? I told you guys what I got, but 
If you're nosy like me, you want to see it. From MAC, I did my back to MAC. I did it at the Macy's inside of the mall, and they only wanted six empties, so I ended up picking up Cream Cup, which is just a basic nudie pink. Very, 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 very pretty. I love it for my skin tone. It just looks super natural with a little bit of shine. And this is considered a... I think it's considered a... Uh, what is it? Cream sheen. Yeah, cream sheen. So I got that from Mock. Like I said, if you go to the counters, it's six empties. And then from Charlotte Russe. Russe. I bought two things and they ended up being both on clearance. So I bought one for $10.99 and the other one for $14.50. And like I said, you guys, I was not going to leave this there. I got, I ended up getting the, the kimono with the coral. There you go. With the coral stitching all over it. So I got that for $14.50. And then I also ended up getting the long maxi. Oh, I only got it in a 2X. Oh, it still fits though, but I didn't pay attention to that. I thought I grabbed a 3X. It still fits though. I ended up getting the maroon long uh, maxi tank, which was like the high low, very, very short in the front, like a tank top and like a dress in the back. I didn't realize I got in a 3X but, or in a 2X, but that's fine. It did fit. Um, but I'm just so in the habit of buying 3Xs, it, it just throws me off. But anyway, so that's what I got so far. Neighbors badass little kids are freaking loud Screaming their freaking heads off Badass little kids Okay From Torrid, I ended up spending my hot cash. I had three but I only spent two So I just gave the other one to a lady that was in the store. So I did a good deed today But I ended up getting three things with my hot cash and all together I spent a total of 70 bucks for three things So I feel like I walked out with definitely a freaking bargain so the one thing you did see me try on, it is this beautiful floor length kimono in a size 2-3. And when I was trying to tell you the fabric, it's mesh. So it's like super, super sheer, really light material. There's no way this sucker is going to make me hot, but I absolutely love the colors, you guys. Like so pretty. I own not a single kimono that looks like this. And I just love it. It has this awesome tribal print all over it. Super, super pretty. And that one was $48.50. So that's still relatively cheap considering how much they wanted for their other crap. This one you saw me try on too. It is the high-low black. Oh, what? High-low black floral chiffon top. I got it in a size 3 for $38.50. And you saw me try this one on too. It's just the floral one. Really, really cute and very, very light for summer because it's starting to get really humid as hell. This weather is ridiculous. And then because I just wanted to use up that last hot cash that I was using, I picked up a pair of sandals in a size 10 and they are crochet and they're considered ivory and they're like this cream oatmeal color. They're just in generic, but what I really like about them is that, that they're so, they're not plain. But I can pair this up with so much stuff and I it won't be an issue about, you know, letting me, little, little, little. <sighs> I didn't drink today for lunch, by the way. <laughs> the reason I like these sandals is because they're going to go with everything, like anything and everything. I have sandals that have a lot of color in them, so it's kind of hard to pair them up. But these are going to be neutral and I ended up, if you've been watching my hauls recently, you know that I have a lot of freaking ivory and lace and crochet and and knit stuff so this will actually go with a lot of shit that i have already so for 29.50 i still feel like the sandals are overpriced but again i didn't pay full price for them so it worked out uh my last stop was hobby lobby if you don't know already, I could spend all day in Hobby Lobby. Like, legitly, I could spend all day in Hobby Lobby and Sarah's the same damn way. But we only had, like, 30 minutes of time. So, I don't know if you know this already. I'm redecorating my bedroom. Everything is in shades of gray, white, gray, off-white, cream color, and yellow. So, everything in there, from stripes to polka dots. I don't care what the pattern is, but the color schemes all have a tie-in. And they have to be gray, white, and, like, chevron print or... Some sort of print. Overall, I'm really liking how everything's turning out, but it's really hard for me to find pieces. So we went to Hobby Lobby and I found some pieces for my wall. And I love this one. This one, everything was 50% off for the wall. So this one says Love Nest. And it's basically like this muted gray. 
and the cream color is in this pretty little script color and it says love nest i thought that was really really cute for me and jesse's bedroom because you know it is our love nest and then this was for 750 and it is this huge oh wash me out this white thing and it's a gray background and it's got like these yellow hearts in the shape of a heart. So I thought that was really, really cute just to hang up in the bedroom. Just something different. Just to tie in all the colors and the patterns and anything that I got going on. What is that? Oh, my lotion. Uh, no, I'll put some on. It smells so freaking good. I'm going to smell like a freaking peach. A Georgia peach. I'll be a Texas peach because I'm in Texas. So you guys, that was the end of my vlog today, you guys. Like, what do you think? I try to pack as much stuff in there as I can, you know that, but sometimes there are just not enough hours in a day, and as it is right now, it's going on 5 o'clock, and I'm waiting for Jesse to get home, and I still want to go get groceries, and uh, I know he's going to want to get dinner, but I'm still full from Cheddar's, and he doesn't know we went to Cheddar's, um, so I know he's going to be a little upset about that, but you know, it is what it is, but I hope you guys liked it, I hope you liked following me around, me and Sarah. Let me know down below what was your favorite piece that I got today from the haul. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.